Hello, my name is Claudio Cortez, and today I will be talking about PNH, or paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. Before talking about PNH, I want to review the main function of the two complement regulatory proteins associated with this disease. CD59 and decay accelerating factor, or DAF, also called CD55, are membrane-bound complement regulatory proteins that are associated with PNH. In previous videos, we have described the main functions of these proteins. One key element about these two membrane-bound complement regulatory proteins is that both of them are considered GPI anchor proteins, which means that they have this glycosyl inositol molecule, GPI, that anchor the protein to the cell membrane. The main function of CD59 is that it's able to bind C8 and can prevent C9 from polymerizing and forming the membrane attack complex, or MAC. CD55, or DAF, also protects host cells from complement-mediated attack by removing BB from the C3 convertase, C3BBB, and also C2B from the C3 convertase of the classical electin pathway, C4B, C2B, as shown in previous videos. These molecules are essential in protecting the host cells from complement-mediated attack. The GPI anchors CD59 and CD55 to the surface of cells, including red blood cells. Since RBC requires CD59 and CD55 for protection, a lack of GPI anchor makes these cells susceptible to complement-mediated attack, causing the disease called parosexual nocturnal hemoglobinuria. PNH is due to a somatic mutation in a gene responsible for the formation of the GPI anchor called forfativil inositol inacetyl glucosaminyl transferase subunit A, or BIGA gene. This mutation occurs in hematopoietic stem cells clones, which means that patients with PNH have normal cells that express the GPI anchor and also abnormal population of cells that do not have this molecule. A mutation of PIGA leads to a deficiency of GPI anchor proteins, including complement regulatory proteins such as CD55 and CD59. The main findings are increased intravascular hemolytic anemia and increased incidence of deep vein thrombosis. Erythrocytes and platelets are highly sensitive to complement-mediated lysis. That is why patients with PNH have low count of red blood cells and thrombocytopenia. Due to a massive lysis of erythrocytes, dark morning urine is also observed. Bone marrow transplant seems to be the only cure. Nevertheless, patients with PNH are treated with anti-C5 antibodies, or eculizumab. This antibody inhibits C5 activation and is approved for use against PNH. In summary, a somatic mutation of PIGA gene leads to a deficiency of GPI anchor proteins, including CD55 and DAF. Therefore, the cells that do not express these molecules are extremely susceptible to complement-mediated attack. As always, Please give us a like if you enjoyed the video and feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you.